so in today's video we are going to be learning how to get the 70th percentile uh, of a grouped data and to be specific a grouped data based on class so we have a question telling us that we have a frequency distribution table that defines a data set and uh, we are supposed to calculate the 70th percentile of those distribution so we have the variable x and we have its corresponding frequency distribution so the first step is for us to state the formula for the nth percentile of a grouped data and uh, that is going to be so we have a uh, pn is going to be equals to l c b we have a uh, subscript pn we have plus so we have uh, this to be equals to n summation f divided by 100 minus we have cf b we have pn divided by the frequency then we have subscript pn and then we have times c uh, this is the formula that helps us get the nth percentile of our data set and uh, the formula for the 70th percentile p70 is definitely going to be equals to l c b and then we have subscript p70 plus so we open the brackets and then we have a 70 uh, times summation f divided by 100 minus c f b p70 divided uh, by f p70 uh, we close the brackets then we have time c so where the p70 represents the 70th percentile the lcb p70 represents the lower class boundary at the 70th percentile the cfbp 70 represents the cumulative frequency before the 70th percentile the fp70 represents the frequency at the 70th percentile and the c represents the class interval so from this formula we are definitely going to be seeing that we need to extract out the frequency distribution given to us and uh, we are going to be adding two new, two new details rather and that is going to be the class boundaries and the cumulative frequency so let's try to take this formula of ours let's take it a bit down so let's take this here exactly and then the next step is for us to actually uh reconstruct excuse me so the next step is for us to reconstruct the stable given to us and uh, on doing so we are going to be adding the details for the cumulative frequency and uh, the lower class boundary so let me quickly go through that So we have to work on the class boundary and uh, the class boundary is just us subtracting 0 0.5 from the lower class limit and then adding this 0 0.5 to the uh, upper class limit. We did this when we were trying to get the 8th decile of the same question. So I'm going to be linking a video somewhere in the top right corner so you can just go check that out. So the next is the cumulative frequency and that is basically the sum frequency uh, at a specific class and the, and the frequency before it. So for the class of 10 to 15, the frequency at this class is 8. So for the class of 16 to 21, the frequency at this class is 17. So 17 plus 18, that gives us 25. Uh, so for the class of 22 to 27, that is going to give us 32. And right here we have this to be 37, uh, we have here to be equals to 46, and we have this to be equals to 50. So that being said, so it's time for us to get the necessary details. And the first step is to get the 70th percentile, is to locate the 70th percentile rather of our data set. So that means that 70 uh, times uh, summation f divided by 100. And that is going to be equals to 70 times. So the sum of frequency is going to be equals to 50. So 17 times 50 divided by 100. And when we do the math, we have this to be equals to 35. So that simply implies that uh, the 70th percentile is located in the 35th position of the data set. So uh, let's try to locate the 35th position of our data set. So uh, 8 plus 17, that gives us 25. 25 plus 7, that gives us 32. 32 plus 5, that gives us 37. So definitely, uh, the 35th position is going to be somewhere around here. So we just use this red marker to mark that. So that is the uh, location of the 70th 
percentile. So the next step is for us to get the lower class boundary at the 70th percentile. So that means that L, C, B, we have a P70 is going to be equal to 27.5. That is the lower class boundary at the 70th percentile. Uh, the frequency, that is F, P, 70. The frequency at the 70th percentile is going to be equal to 5. Uh, uh, the class interval, which is C, is actually the difference between... Uh, the lower class limit and the upper, upper class limit of any class you pick, it defines how wide the class is. So uh, 15 minus 10, that gives us 5. 21 minus 16, that also gives us 5. So it's a fixed value. So this is actually equals to 5. And uh, the cumulative frequency before the 70th percentile. So the cumulative frequency at the 70th percentile is 37. So the cumulative frequency before the uh, 70th percentile is 32 so this is 32 right here so with all of those details we can definitely substitute uh, all of them into the formula so let's take this up a bit yeah so uh the 70th percentile p70 is going to be equals to 27.5 plus so we have this to be equals to 35 uh minus 32 divided uh, by this is uh, the frequency at the 70th percentile is actually equals to 5 times and this is also 5 exactly so p70 is going to be equals to 27.5 plus so uh 35 minus 32 that gives us 3 divided by 5 times 5 so we just cancel this out so we have our p70 to be equals to 27.5 plus 3 and uh, the answer to that is going to be the fact that P70, which is the 70th percentile, is equals to 30.5. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, I would really appreciate if you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on your notifications to get notified when I release new video, which I do at least two times or three times in a week. Thanks for making it to the end of this video and we we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.